In Results 2020 now, we're getting closer and closer to the upcoming election, and local officials have an important message before you vote. News 6's Mark Lehman has more. It's no secret that 2020 is a big election year, one that's also shaping up to be very busy for poll workers. That's why officials say it was important today to answer questions ahead of the first election day, which is only months away. Vote, I did. Orange County unveiling a new logo and voting sticker for the 2020 election year. Today, supervisors of elections for both Orange and Osceola counties work to clear up any misconceptions when it comes to voting in this year's three elections. Several laws surrounding Election Day are going into effect. They include an expanded no solicitation zone. Also new this year, voters are now allowed to take pictures of only their ballots at the polls. But one thing that's still tied up in the courts is Amendment 4, which addresses the restoration of voting rights of felons. The question is, what is the process for verifying the information on an individual? And that's got to be answered. Cybersecurity is another big issue when it comes to casting your ballot. Every voter in the state of Florida votes on a paper ballot and we can set down the day after the election if we need to and count those again. Both supervisors saying extra security has been put in place since 2016. Everything is being protected. We were the first state to have 100% of our counties using the Albert servers. Now the deadline to vote for the presidential primary is February 18th. Officials believe that there will be higher than normal early voting and vote by a mail. That's because every school district in Central Florida will be on spring break during election day, which is scheduled for March 17th. For now reporting in Orange County, Mark Lehman getting results, New 6.